Hello everyone! How are you today? It's your teacher Gem once again. And this time, we will discuss the what I can do part of your module 2. And this is all about finding the volume of cylinders, pyramids, cones, and spears. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raiman. My name is Mr. Jem Raimon Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. This time, let's have item number 1 in the What I Can Do part of your module. And you are given here a pyramid. Now, the data here given, area of the base, 24 square meter. And the height is 10 meters. And you are going to find the volume of the pyramid. And we will use the general formula which is base times height divided by 3. Okay? So let us substitute. Okay? So this is 24 squared meter. So here's the base. And your height here is 10 meters divided by 3. Okay, and after that, you may multiply directly 24 times 10. That will give you 240 cubic meters. Okay, yung na cubic na yan class kasi meter squared or squared meter times m dito or times meter will give you cubic meters. Kasi kapag nagmumultiply ka ng mga units class, i-add mo lang yung exponent ng the same units. No? So we have m squared, may 1 yan ng, well, may 1 dito yan, class yung meter, then 1 plus 2 it becomes 3. Okay? So, 240 divided by 3, yung quotient niyan magiging 80 cubic meters. So, ito na yung tamang sagot for item number 1 sa what I can do part niyang, ng module mo. Let's have number 2. Ang number 2 naman natin ay cylinder. Ang radius niya ay 3 decimeter. Yung height naman niya ay 15 decimeter. Volume na naman ang kukuni natin. So, ito na yung formula natin. Volume equals pi r squared times height. So, isubstitute natin class. So, yung pi natin dito becomes 3.14. Yung radius natin becomes 3 decimeter squared. At yung height natin dyan is 15 decimeter. Before we multiply all this data, let us have first the product of this 3 squared. Yung 3 times 3 natin becomes 9. So, substitute natin or replace natin ng 9 dyan sa gitna. Yan, copy na muna yung 3.14 na tsaka yung 15 dito. Tsaka yung 3 dito squared, nagiging 9 na siya. Okay? Now, pwede na natin yung i-multiply lahat. 3.14 times 9 times 15, then we'll give you your final answer na 423.90 cubic decimeter. Ito na yung final answer natin class for your number 2. Let's have number 3, yung cone naman. Ang diameter na ibinigay dito is 12 meters. So, hindi naman diameter yung kakailangan, kakailanganin natin class para masolve yung volume ng cone, ba? Radius naman. So, ang gagamitin natin dito is 6 meters lang. Yung height natin is 20, yung volume naman natin ang missing. So, ito na yung formula natin. So, again, ang volume ng, ng cone is equal to pi r squared times height divided by 3. Substitute na natin class. Yung pi natin becomes 3.14, yung radius natin is 6. Saan nakuha yung 6? Yung half ng diameter ng 12. Okay, that makes it 6. And yung height natin is 20. So, kunin muna natin yung 6 squared na, na solution. So, that makes it 6 times 6 equals 36. 3.14, 36, and then 20. Then, multiply natin yung lahat class. 3.14, 36 times 20 will give you 2,260.80 divided by 3. Okay? So, if you will divide that, it will give you 753.60 cubic centimeters. Ito na yung final answer natin for number 3. This is the volume of the cone. Number 4, we have spear. Yung spear na diameter is 9 meters. Yung volume ang kukuni natin. Ito yung formula niya. But we can write it also using this one. 
Okay, substitute natin. Pero yung 9 plus, hindi, na, hindi yan ilalagay natin dito kasi diameter yan. Yung half niyan, yung radius natin, which is 4.5. Okay, that's why 4.5 ang ilalagay natin dito. Now, para ma-solve ito, 4.5 times 4.5 times 4.5. The answer is, yes, it's 91.125 cubic meters. So after that, pwede mo nang i-multiply lahat yan and the result will become, yes, 1,144.53 cubic meters. So divided by 3, yung tamang sagot ay, 381.51 cubic meters. Ito na yung tamang sagot for number 4. Let's have number 5, sphere pa din, pero this time ang given ay radius, which is 3 meters, di ba? So, ang volume yan, pwedeng isulat ng ganito. So, ang radius natin will be 3 meters. So, substitute natin yung 3 sa formula. 4 natin plus, copy. Yung pi natin is 3.14. Yung radius natin is 3 meters. And then, copy also the cube here. So, 3 times 3 times 3. How much? Yes, it will give you 27 cubic meters. So, yung 27 times 3.14 times 4 will give you the product of 339.12 cubic meters. I-divide natin yan sa 3 class. At yung tamang sagot ay 113.04 cubic Meters. Ito na yung volume ng sphere natin for item number 5. Let's have number 6. A pyramid has a base area of 30 squared centimeters and a height of 9 centimeters. What is the volume of the pyramid? So again, we will use the formula volume equals base times height divided by 3. Okay, so i-replace natin yung Base area na dyan ng 30 squared centimeters at yung height natin is 9 centimeters. Okay? So again, yung base area natin class, 30 square centimeter yan. Yung height natin is 9 centimeters. I-divide sa 3. 30 times 9, how much? Yes, it's 270 cubic centimeters. Divided by 3. Yung 270 divided sa 3, how much? Yes, it's 90 cubic centimeters. At ito na yung final answer natin as volume of our pyramid in item number 6. Let's have number 7. A water tank has a shape of a large cylinder. Its base has an area of 10 pi square meters and its height measures 5 meters. Find the volume of the tank. Of course, obviously, we will use this formula. Formula of the volume of the cylinder equals pi r squared times height. But, the given here is the area of the base. There is no radius here. Now, in our formula, what is the base area? Yes, very good. This pi r squared here is the base area of our water tank or the cylinder. So, we can replace this as this one. Na? Yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, same lang yan sa formula na yan. Okay? So, volume equals base times height. So, yung base times height natin, yan ay yung formula natin para makuha yung volume ng water tank na in cylindrical shape. So, i-replace natin ng given data ang base area dito which is yes, yung base natin is 10 pi squared meters. Okay? And then, yung height natin is 5. Now, i-replace natin ito ng value. Now, we will find the value of pi which is 3.14. Replace natin yan. At nagiging ganito yan. Okay, so 10 times 3.14 m squared times 5 m or 5 meters. Okay? So, we have 31.4 squared meters. So, saan nakuha tong 31.4 class? Yes, nakuha yan sa 10 
times 3.14 dito. And then, copy of course yung 5M dyan. Ngayon, i-multiply natin yung 31.4 times 5. Yes, that's 157 cubic meters. Yan na yung volume ng ating cylindrical shape water tank for number 7. Number 8, a conical pail is 10 centimeters deep and the radius of its base is 5 centimeters long. Find the volume of the pail. So what shape is our pail? Yes, that's cone. So yung formula natin ay volume equals pi r squared times height divided by 3. Yung radius natin class is 5 centimeters at yung height natin is 10 centimeters. Na ito yung height class. Substitute natin sila. So, yung pi natin dyan is 3.14. Yung r squared natin dito is 5 cm squared. At yung height natin dito is 10 cm. Yung denominator natin is 3. Okay? So, we have 5 times 5 here. We have 25. So, 3.14 times 25 times 10 will give you the product of 785 cubic centimeters. Copy yung denominator na 3. Pagkatapos nyan, we will divide 785 divided by 3 and will give you the quotient of 261.67 cubic centimeters. Ito na yung final answer natin for item number 8. Number 9. The height of a rectangular prism is 7 units and the dimensions of the base are 5 units and 4 units. Find the volume of the prism. Obviously, we will use this formula. Length times width times height. Then after that, we substitute the value 5 units for L or length, 4 units for width, and 7 units for height. Now, no specific units used. That's why we will use the word unit for this problem. So after that, you multiply 5 times 4 times 7 and the result will become very good. That's 140 cubic units. So ito na yung final answer natin for number 9. Let's have number 10. A classroom is 10 meters by 9 meters by 10 meters. How many cubic meters of air are there per person when the room is occupied by 40 pupils? We will solve first the volume of the room. Now, obviously, that's prism. So we will use this. Okay, so after that, we will substitute Length natin is 8 meters, yung width natin is 9 meters, at yung height natin class is 10 meters. So you multiply all together, 8 times 9 times 10 will give you 720 cubic meters. Hindi pa yun yung final answer kasi yung what is asked in the problem is that we are asked number of cubic meters of the air no per person. What if 40 persons or pupils are there in the classroom? So what will you do? Yes, you divide this by 40. Ah, I-divide natin ito sa 40. So, that will become 720 cubic meters divided by 40 and will give you 18 cubic meters. Yan, yan yung cubic meter of air per person or that is 18 cubic meters of air that occupied by one person in the classroom. So, yung 18 cubic meters na yan class, yung final answer for number 10. Now, this time, you answer the assessment and the additional activities part of your module. No? Tingnan natin kung talagang alam nyo na ba isolve how to find the volume of solid figures. Ikaw na muna yung sasagot class. May separate video lesson ako para i-discuss ang mga sagot for the assessment and additional activities part. Okay? Now, this is 10 item assessment. Okay, I'll give you time to answer this part of your module. And your time starts now. Okay, this time you answered the additional activities part of your module still use any piece of paper for this okay i'll give you time to answer this and your time starts now
that's all for today class thank you so much for watching if you want to watch the next video lesson yung mga sagot sa assessment and additional activities pwede mong i-click yung link na nasa itaas okay see you next time